Amy, we're only 10 days into 2022 and we've seen at least three seasons, severe weather and snow and rain. That means pothole season is next. News Channel 5's Cole Johnson joins us live with what drivers can do if they hit a pothole and want to get their car fixed. Cole, this morning, I'm already tracking several cars that are pulled over after hitting potholes on the interstate. Good morning, Rebecca. Yeah, you mentioned it. A lot of weather in really a short amount of time, and a lot of people are going to be back on their commutes today after that snow and ice have melted. And we actually have a live look from Sky 5 showing those potholes. This is around the Silliman Evans Bridge. You can see that these potholes are pretty massive, and if you get stuck in one of those or hit one of those, that's going to cause some big issue. But depending on where you are, you're able to report those to the state or the city to fix them. And it's worth noting during the winter, the state says they use a cold mix to fill in potholes because you can't get hot asphalt until the spring, which is one reason why a recently filled pothole may reopen. But if you ended up hitting one and your car gets damaged, you're not alone. Consumer Report says more than 3 million drivers have pothole related damage each year with a price tag of $3 billion. In Tennessee, if you hit a pothole and see damage, you can make a claim with the Tennessee Department of Treasury, but you have to be able to prove the road crews had enough time to repair the pothole and didn't fill it. In 2020, there were more than 1,000 pothole claims only seven were approved, ending with more than 3,000 bucks paid out. But sometimes when you're driving, you may not have the ability to safely make it around the pothole. If that's the case, car experts with Consumer Report says check your tires for things like cuts, blisters or bubbles. And if you see anything, you should replace the tires. And if you do end up spotting a pothole today, we'll have the links on how to report them up on newschannel5.com later on this morning. Back to you in the studio.